What's up guys, today I am so excited. We have a really, really fun barbecue to unbox. This is the Twin Eagles new Eagle One. This is like the mecca of all gas grills. This is a new gas grill that they come out with and I'm really excited. This thing is ridiculous. It's extremely over the top. No, in no way is this a responsible purchase in any way, but that doesn't mean it's not stinking awesome. I'm so excited. Let's get this thing opened up. So what's the story on this grill? Well, normally what I would do is I would, we do a time lapse and I'd unbox it, sort of look at the grill a little bit, learn a little bit about it, and then sort of gather my thoughts before we roll the camera. But this grill, I'm not kidding guys, I saw this grill at a trade show and I, it was so hectic there, I only got to look at it for a second. I wanted to get my initial like thoughts as we unbox it because that's how over the top this thing is. This grill is absolutely insane. It is way over engineered. It's more gas grill than you would ever need. But if you're looking for like the biggest, baddest grill that exists, I promise you this is it. So that's why we brought it in and that's why I'm so excited to do a video of it. The problem is that kind of irritated me a little bit was Twin Eagles is very, very stingy. They're a little, um, I call them a little hoity-toity. They, they're very proud of their stuff. So it's really hard for me to get this grill. Um, I essentially, we have a, a retail store here in the Denver metro area, which by the way, come on down, check out these products. Um, I had to buy this grill just like a regular consumer. I had to buy it online because I couldn't get my hands on one. So, but I wanted to do a video of it so bad, we went ahead and paid full price for one, which kind of annoyed me, but point is is that we got to give you the consumers the best possible reviews that we can give whether we sell the grills or not and so that's what we're doing is we're showing you an awesome gas grill so we're about to show you this here now before we do the big reveal keep in mind this is a 36 inch but it's not your ordinary 36 inch this is the smallest grill they offer in this series it goes up to a 54 inch that's just dumb there it is look how tall this thing is imagine this built into an outdoor kitchen you guys can tell i'm an expert at unwrapping these things let's get my knife out just kidding Okay, so I just took the wrapper off. See how it like sort of folds in? Come get a shot right here. It looks really, really cool. This is really sharp looking. That's just a little detail, but I like it. I think it's pretty attractive. Oh yeah, I haven't opened this yet. I wanted to do it on camera. It's probably gonna be a ton of packaging, super anticlimactic. You ready? Ah, it's not bad. Let's open up some of this stuff, see what we're dealing with. Now, I'm not as educated on this grill as I should be, so we're gonna learn together. I don't even know what that is. Let's just set, set this uh, stuff aside because what I'm most curious about is gonna be the things that intrigue me the most are the burners and the cooking grates. The little glimpse I got of those at the, sh at the show, it was unbelievable. So let's just set this down. Let's get that out of there. Okay, let's start with the cooking grates. I mean, oh. <laughs> these are, look at that. I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. I mean, what would you ever need that for? Tate. Come check these out. Bring me one of the Blaze Pro ones. I want to see what they look like against each other. So Blaze Pro, if you're not familiar with that, they're one of the more heavy duty cooking grates we have. I would say one of the thicker, thicker ones in the industry. So let's get a, oh yeah, doesn't even compare. And the Blaze one 
is way over the top. You would never need something like this, even on the Blaze. Look at that. Hold that, feel how heavy that is. <laughs> Don't drop it. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Again, this is a grill for fun. It's like- That's a bludgeon weapon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, getting like a new seven series. Uh, but instead you're getting the M7. Like you don't need an, who needs an M7? Nobody, but it's kind of fun. Same thing. This is exactly what this is. Uh, okay, check this out inside. This configuration's a little different than I thought. I didn't realize that we're using ceramic briquettes in here, but look at this infrared burner. I mean, again, same thing, come on, I mean, what the heck do you need an infrared burner that big for? That's a great sear station and it has a matchlet drop down option. So if you lose power, I can already tell you just drop a match down in there, which is kind of rare in an infrared burner. Let's take these briquettes out. So you can see our briquettes there. And check this out. Ooh, this I'm actually a little disappointed with. I thought. We're gonna see some crazy cast stainless steel or something. Just standard tube burners, but again, you don't even need a tube burner this big, but you got them. And then our ceramic plates here, and then it looks like we got our dividers here too, which pop on and off. So those help with your temp control and your stations. Ah. Well. Don't like that design. No, I'm just kidding. So that's nice because you're gonna get a separate temp control. Let's see here. Uh, hood, no spring assist hood. Again, not that upset about it. Let's plug this in, because I wanna see, this is the rear rotisserie burner. You can see it's covered in glass. Let's plug that in and see what this is all about. So we got it plugged in. So there's our lighting. I don't know how, how good you can see this in, in the lighting, but this, we'll show you a close up because they have a cool option on their website. But this whole control panel sort of illuminates blue. You can kind of see it with my hand under there. It's pretty attractive. And then we have interior lighting as well. And then our knob control, you can see it's gonna give us a red light indicator when it's on. And then it's telling us how high we have the burner set at, which is pretty cool too. And you're not gonna be able to see it because we don't have gas to the unit, but right here, this is an indicator. So it's gonna electronically tell us how hot our barbecue is, which is pretty cool. So it looks like we have two main burners, one rotisserie burner. This is our rotisserie burner here, it's our main infrared burner and then our two main burners here so that's what we got going on and then we'll just have to show you a photo here but this is a infrared burner that's cut encased in glass so that's kind of cool pretty unique and then you can see here see the spring assisted hood see that i found the spring for it it's on the side there just found that and even with that man it's heavy you can tell this lid is heavy because look at this this is this wide, it's not solid in there, but still double lined. And then look at this, this is really unique. This sort of tiered system, I haven't seen that before. Now what's really cool is you don't see a motor anywhere, do you? Where's your rotisserie motor? So it looks like it comes with a smoker tray too. So I took that apart, it's pretty heavy duty. What's nice is even though it's, wel it's welded, so What's cool is you could fill that up with like steam or something if you wanted to. And then it looks like this just sets in right here. What I'm curious though, is if you're cooking grates, let's see, let's check out. Oh, I mean, this is dumb. I need like two, <laughs> two hands for this. Oh yeah, so that just sits over the top of the smoker box if you wanted to. That's pretty cool. And then I was having the hardest time finding the actual rotisserie spit rod. And then we finally discovered it. Ugh. So in your tray here, this is your grease tray. This is a pretty cool little design. Cause see this flaps up here. 
because most of the time you're not going to be using this, so it's nice to be able to totally tuck this away if you want. But what's really cool is, like I was saying, is your rotisserie, you don't see a rotisserie motor anywhere. It's configured somewhere, I'm guessing, in here because your motor's over here. Okay, so I found the motor. So here's your rotisserie motor, and then here's a little chain in here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little chain that feeds to the, the contraction up front. I don't know what the heck you even call that thing. The thing that holds a spit rod, and then that's how it spins. So here's the rotisserie motor. So let me show you this. So that's going to sit there, and your rotisserie button's here. So check that out. That's pretty cool. And then, what else is cool is it's adjustable, so you can go even higher. Now, what I think is really overrated or underrated when people shop for grills is the amount of vertical real estate that you get in a barbecue. Hey, take, throw me a tape measure. Told you this video is off the cuff. Ugh. All right. So we got, yeah, that's pretty good. We got about a little over six inches to the spit rod. Some grills, it's like two or three inches and it makes it completely useless. So let's shut that off here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. They gave you this. I would have to do some research. I don't know what you would use this for. Sits in here. I don't know. I don't want to guess. I'm gonna have to look through the manual, see what you do with that. If you guys know, tell me. Let me know. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. So overall, final thoughts on this grill. You do get a warming rack too. That looks like it came with it. You can see this is a, a true unboxing video because I'm making a total mess. Hmm. What would be my final thoughts? I would say in conclusion, this grill with the lid shut especially, looks awesome. I mean, look at this, this grill front looks, it looks like a sports car. It looks amazing. Like this would look so cool in an outdoor kitchen. The cooking grates are way over the top. Your vertical real estate, your integrated um, rotisserie, all way over the top. Your heat control sensors, your lighting, your interior exterior lighting, this grill is so overkill, it's not even funny. That doesn't mean it's not totally awesome. It's completely irresponsible. It's crazy expensive. But if you're looking for one of the biggest, baddest grills on the market, this would be the one to check out. And like I said, look how tall this total hood is. So from your counter space, from the top of your counter, it's gonna sit up 17 inches. And this is the smallest in the series. So would I recommend the Twin Eagles, Eagle One? Breaker Breaker 1.9 Eagle has landed. Yes, I would. It's unbelievable. It's one of the coolest gas grills I have ever seen. Um, you better pony up the fort though. It's gonna cost you. But I would definitely highly recommend it. And we don't even have them here in the store. We don't even sell them. And I'm still recommending it. If you guys ever think I'm uh, just trying to sell people something, not true. These are true reviews. I can't even sell this, so. Uh, Definitely check it out. It's really sweet. If you're interested in any of our other gas grills though, we will have this down here for a bit. So come down to our showroom, check out our gas grills. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe.